Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Boost! That was pretty good. I'm YouTube famous now! Available on iTunes in 2018. 2018? In 2018. Live from Miami Beach, Florida, South Beach, Florida, Ocean Drive, right in front of us. Dad AF, the birthday edition. Don't call my name, don't call my name. Lady Gaga. <laughs> it's Lady Gaga's birthday today. Don't call my name Alejandro. Not my husband, Lady Gaga. It's Lady Gaga's birthday today, so I wanted to do a little special shout out to Lady Gaga because she watches all of my videos and I love her so much. So anyway, happy birthday, lady. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Lady Gaga. Don't call my name, don't call my name. Let it go, go. <laughs> anyway, she's 32 now, which means if she had a YouTube channel, they would say, You the old lady YouTube people just hang up them ballet slippers and get right on off. That's what they say. And since we're going to talk about some older folk on YouTube today, not me, <laughs> not the grandpa of YouTube, the gay game grandpa of YouTube, I thought we would do a fun little video about Miss Toddy Westbrook. Ha! Toddy! And I do love Toddy, and you guys know that. So, I wanted to do something a little bit more lighthearted today, a little bit more fun. Hold on, let me fix my hair. We've been out at the beach all day long today. Anyway, uh, you know that you've got, you, you know you're truly old when you have a purple shirt on or a lavender shirt and your hair almost matches the color of your shirt. <laughs> Not sponsored. Anyway, <laughs> but I wanted to do a little bit more of a lighthearted video today. So much serious drama of the world has been going on the last couple days. <gasps> People calling out drama channels. <laughs> and on and on and on. Oh my God, we just take all this stuff so seriously. On one second, we say, I'm calling out these people. Enough is enough already. And then the next second, they say, well, I'm just going to make the videos I want to make. If you don't like me, you don't like me. Well, girl, pick a side. Anyway, any side will do. We don't really care. I did message said YouTuber, though, and I still haven't heard back from her 24 hours later. I guess she's not real big into mending fences. So let's get right into this video. I wanted to do something kind of a little fun today on here, a little bit different. And I was rolling through the Reddit. And on here, I noticed that there was this thread, and it was... I spotted Toddy in an episode, of, or an Unsolved Mysteries episode. <gasps> oh! So here she is, okay? Somebody has screenshot it right here. Uh, Mermaid RN screenshot it and started the thread. So thank you, Mermaid RN. I lived. And let me just tell you, when I came underneath there, there were 582 like uh, uh, likes and 130 comments. And I was like... People are kind of living for this toddy drama on Unsolved Mysteries. Like, this is crazy. And I have to tell you what is so funny about this, right? Is that I have been a diehard fan of Unsolved Mysteries. <laughs> I'm sure this doesn't surprise many people if you watch my vlog. For years and years and years, okay? Number one, I love a good story. So go uh, subscribe to my Peterisms channel. It's all stories all day long. And uh, number two, I love spooky, strange stuff. <laughs> I talk about it on my vlog all the time. Go subscribe to my vlog. And if that isn't enough for you, subscribe to this channel and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you get notifi notified of notification. <laughs> I think not, of all of my videos that I post, because I post on a daily basis. So anyway, I love Unsolved Mysteries. I have watched it since I was a little kid, true story, okay? And I can remember sitting down with my mom, and we would eat a bowl of popcorn, and we would sit down there, and I'd be like, oh my God, I'd be so scared, right? And they'd always have like the UFO ones. <gasps> Those were my favorite. I also listen to Coast to Coast AM every day. I love it, okay? Do you feel like we're sitting in my in our kitchen, like having a cup of coffee, just chatting, kikiing up, two girlfriends? All right, girl, what's up? How was work today? You should have quit. You didn't quit. Why are you taking that shit from those people? Call a babysitter. Let's go out. So anyway, uh, <laughs> I do love, though, that we just kind of sit around. <laughs> it sometimes feels like I'm talking to you and you guys don't talk back. But it's okay because I do read the comments. So leave a comment in the comment section below. Even if it's for this, like, I can't stand you. I'll just feel like I'm walking down the street and somebody spit at me. But <laughs> you didn't get me. So all right, let's go on. So I was reading through this stream and I lived for it, okay? First of all, I want to say that they go in here and they talk about her IMBD page, which is kind of like Wikipedia, but it's for like movie stars and actors and all that kind of stuff. Now, I have a lot of history of this because my dog, my chihuahua, Pee Pee, he has his Screen Actors Guild card. Now, if you've ever seen him in a video, he always says that he does not... Uh, 
consent to being in the video because it has to go through his agent first and Screen Actors Guild. So he also has an IMDb page, which is why I know so much about that channel. <laughs> Nothing whatsoever channel, that website. Anyway, so I went on here. True story. She's got a page, okay? YouTube star Tati Westbrook was born in the USA as Tatiana Crevens. As a child actress... <sighs> You know what happens to those child actors, don't you? Oh, my God, they're a mess of trouble all day long. Those folk from Different Strokes, do you remember that? Oh, my God, that one girl turned out to be a prostitute. was the saddest story ever in my entire life. That one kid, he died of a heroin overdose or something. Somebody was shooting up liquor stores in L.A. My God, it's like if you're a child star, you are destined to a life of trouble. No, I mean, except for that Blair from Facts of Life. She all Christian up with people. I think she met Misty up in the bathroom. I used to love facts like you take the good, you take the bad, you take it all, and then you have the facts of life. Anyway, did y'all watch those shows when Child Stars back in the day? I lived for all of them. Little Janet Jackson, she made it out all right. What was she on? She was on Different Strokes too. Okay. As a child actress, she was known for her work on Greek, 2007, and Unsolved Mysteries in 1987. 1987? What? Uh, in 2010, she launched a YouTube channel called Glam Life Guru, where she hosts a five-day-per-week beauty review show show that receives 25 million views per month by 3 million followers. In 2018, she released the much-anticipated Halo Beauty, of which 9 million drama channels have been made. <laughs> drama channel videos. I tried to ad lib that didn't go so well. But that would have been cute if it would have said that, wouldn't it? Anyway, oh my god, people are coming out of the woodwork talking about this Halo Beauty, Halo this, Halo that. And <laughs> better than some eyelashes all day long. Anyway, so I want to read to you guys a little bit of what it says on here on the Reddit thread, because it is hilarious. And people kind of lived for this. They kind of thought it was really fun. And you know, I think this is the thing about the beauty influencers, right? Whether you love them, whether you hate them, whoever they are, it's like Part of what we get intrigued with is not just their tor tutorials. <laughs> it's not just their tutorials or not just their reviews. <laughs> I've lost my shit. I need to go home. It's time for this vacation to go. I'm way too relaxed. Anyway, <laughs> part of what we love about them or part of what I love about them is not their tutorials or their reviews or their hauls. Who can give a shit about some PR haul? I'm so tired of these PR halls. Okay, I love you, Toddy, but enough of the PR halls. I'm so tired of the PR halls, all right? Just so you guys can show us all the stuff you got that we'll never get, right? So anyway, but you know, it's like we get interested in their lives as well. We get interested in their relationships. We get interested, I mean, look at the video that I did about Jacqueline Hill. It like went through the roof. People were like eating it up. Whether they loved it or hated the topic, people were going over there and watching it. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we have to be very, very sensitive about these topics. And I also think that, you know, we really want to know what's going on with them as people. Because today, YouTube stars, YouTube celebrities, beauty influencers are really for us celebrities on the rise. They're people that we will never feel like we're part of their life or feel like they, we can touch them in any kind of way. So, when we watch their videos and we see their Instagram accounts and we see what's going on with them and we read about the fact that they were in <gasps> Unsolved Mysteries? No, ma'am, I live. So, anyway, it's really exciting to us, you know? We want to know about all that history. And especially when it's something positive and kind of fun, it's even better, right? And especially when it's something like this because it's like we can poke fun at it and it's not too serious, okay? What's the worst we're going to say about her? Well, her acting skills sucked and she was, you know, completely awkward in Unsolved Mysteries. She gonna, she's not going to lose no sleep over it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I went in here and I read, and it says, the episode Code Red segment Terrorized Teen is from 1996, where she reenacts a girl beaten and suffocated by burglars. I knew it was her, but I wasn't sure how to verify it. I searched her name on IMDb, and there it was. And I just read you guys IMDb. But get ready, because I have an exclusive statement from Miss Toddy Westbrook herself. And then she, this person took more uh, pictures. Damn it, now I have to rewatch Greek and keep an eye out for her. Um, oh, shoot, me too. What a tragedy. And then somebody said, uh, Karkashi, and said, oh, she was a cute kid. And then it says, oh, wow, didn't know Tati was is an actress before. Apparently one of her parents is a talent agent, and two of her sisters are also actresses. And then uh, Mermaid RN said again, um, I had no idea about that stuff either. I'm an Unsolved Mysteries junkie. Oh, my God, we should be best Judies. I am, too. I love that show so much. 
I to this day, uh, seriously, now y'all know my good Judy, Tanya, and I, we go up in the Meyer or the Walmart all the time late at night, like 2 o'clock in the morning, no lie, okay? I just know I'm going to end up, my life is going to be over on Unsolved Mysteries video. I swear to you, okay? They're going to show a clip and they're going to be like, uh, good Judy's Peter Mon and Tanya went into the Walmart at 2 o'clock in the morning in search of a t-shirt that would fit them on vacation. They never came out. Their cell phones were found in their car. <gasps> That's what's going to happen to me all day long. I love that show. So anyway, okay, <laughs> I love that show. My dad used to say to me, I cannot stand when you talk up a hill when I was a little kid. I'd be like, come on down, let's go over there, up the hill. That's what that means, up the hill. Anyway, but if you go down here, so then they affirm that, that yes, her sisters were on shows too, and they go in here and they talk about her sister being on shows and all this kind of stuff. And then somebody says, sorry, I'm out of the loop, but this is, oh, wait, wait, wait. where was the part where they were talking about her? She was on dancing shows. Wow, dead ringer for Amanda Biden. Didn't know Toddy ever did acting. And then somebody said, I miss the 90s. The episode is also on YouTube. So you guys can find this episode on YouTube if you want to. It's called Code Red. And they go in here, go read the thread on Reddit. It is hilarious. People have all kinds of things to say. The best is when she was on that reality TV dancing show. Woo! Ooh, boy, that is hilarious. And the wedding dress reality show. And then somebody said, I can't find that episode anywhere. It's on YouTube somewhere, and it's been posted either here. And they go in and talk about all the different threads. I am so uncomfortable watching these. Cringe. She looks so stiff and nervous. Well, that's probably why. She's a beauty influencer these days and not an actress of the world. So anyway, go in there to the Reddit stream. It's really funny under the beauty influencers on YouTube. I thought it was real fun. But... I wanted to find out the truth of the nature, so I reached out to Miss Toddy herself. We had a little conversation back and forth. Here is the picture, so funny. And I asked her what the deal was with the Unsolved Mysteries thing, because I wanted to know the history. I like to know, like, the whole story of everybody. I think it's so much fun. So she said, um... LOL, I moved to LA with my mom and three sisters after my parents split and did a lot of acting. I'm also a singer and a trained dancer. <laughs> Watch out, Star, star Search. <laughs> Do you guys remember that show, Star Search? I never understood the whole p point or purpose of the person being a spokesmodel. Do you remember that? This is Julie. She's a spokesmodel. And then they would have two of them. What does that mean? It's like the equivalent of a promo model today. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, uh, I moved in with my mom and three sisters after my parents split and did a lot of acting. I'm also a singer and a trained dancer. Till a car accident at 17 ruined that dream. Aw, Toddy. It's never too late. I had the same manager as Jessica Beale and went to weekly classes with Kirsten Dunst and plenty of other kids in the business. I just want to say this really fast. Somebody messaged me on Instagram and they saw my husband and I out dancing at Ultra Music Festival this weekend. They saw us at Mango's last night and they said... I'm never going to get to go to these places. I'm 47 years old. I've never been able to go to these places before. I'm never going to have the same feelings or be able to feel the same things that you do. And I messaged him back and I said, my mother always blasted the music loud and danced in the kitchen. Close your eyes and dream of what it might be like to be there. For all of us, we're just an image away. You know, we can all dream and feel what it's like to dance in a music festival or to dance in some big club. Just because you can't go there doesn't mean you can't experience the same feelings inside. And I think that, you know, we have to remember that sometimes. We have to get as close as we can get. Just because we can't have the $400 sunglasses doesn't mean that when we wear the cheapies walking down the street, we don't feel the same way inside as everybody else. You know what I mean? I had the same manager as Jessica Beale and went to weekly classes with Kirsten Dunst and plenty of other kids in the business. I did mainly guest spots and commercials. Unsolved Mystery is the one that floats around the internet. Dot, dot, dot. Great. And then she did this little emoji. So embarrassing. One day I'll have to share all my stories on my channel. Seriously appreciate you reaching out. And then we uh, talked about some other stuff on there too. But I thought that was so cute. I was like, oh my God, Johnny was on an episode of Unsolved Mysteries. Now I am super jealous. Why won't they call me up? Okay. Where's that Robert Stack calling me up, playing that music in the background and going, do, 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 YouTube famous Peter Ma. <laughs> Missing cash. I hope that's the one they say, not a abducted by aliens. We already know that's true. Listen, cats and this brain right here, are both of them abducted by aliens. Anyway, do you guys know any other little fun facts about YouTubers out there? I mean, there's some fun facts that we don't really need to talk about. You know, there's... But then there's, like, some real fun facts. Of, like, a lot of people, like... I love to go back and, like, look at, like, Trisha when she was on, like, the TV shows. Not, like, Celebrity Big Brother, but back in the day, like, America's Got Talent. Those, have you gone and seen those? They're so much fun. They're so hilarious, right? 
So anyway, it's fun to see a lot of these YouTubers as they came up in ranks, like what TV shows they were on and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of them that have been in a lot of the movies. Alex and I were watching uh, that Halloween Medea movie, and there was like six YouTubers in that. I was like, oh my God, there's like Bella Thorne in here, and there's like the Paul Brothers, and all of these people are up in this video. It's just, I could not believe it all day long. So anyway, it's interesting to find out more about the YouTubers that you watch, isn't it? I mean, I am forever and ever, amen, an uber fan of YouTube and these YouTubers. And so to find out little pieces of their life that's like so entertaining and positive, like and positive, you know? Not just always the dirt, but the positive stuff about them too. The interesting little facts, I like that. It makes it all a little bit more fun for me. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.